I recently had a request from a client about doing a minimum order amount in WooCommerce, and I found this plugin. Um, since this plugin hasn't been tested for the three major releases, but knowing that a lot of these plugins are held up in the plugin backlog uh, that's currently out there from WordPress, I thought, hey, this likely still works. Um, and I looked at the code, it all looked okay. I was a bit concerned about this one-star review with somebody saying it didn't work. So I thought I'd better test it out. So let's go to a WooCommerce site right now. Um, I'm in staging. You should never install plugins on your live website just in case they break things, particularly when they're this old. So we're gonna just say add new plugin by clicking that button up the top there in the plugins interface. And then we're just gonna search by typing in the keyword search area, WC minimum order, just like that. And that will come up with this plugin. Now it does say that it's had you know 5,000 plus installations. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be fine. So I've installed it, I'll click activate. And that will now activate the plugin. Okay, so the plugin's activated. So now we're going to go to WooCommerce settings from the left navigation bar. And you scroll down to the bottom here and I'll put 50 in as my minimum order. And this is the text for your cart message. So just go save changes by clicking that button at the bottom and this will update any other settings on this page as well. Uh, this is just the standard WooCommerce settings. So it's under that general tab. Then I'll go ahead and click visit site um, on the front end. And what we have here is an item already in cart. I've got this one here that's $26.40. So if I click view cart, we'll see that we get this message here. Your current order is 26, it must be at least 50. If I click proceed to checkout, which was something that I was a bit concerned about, that goes ahead and kicks you back. Um, if you calculate shipping um, with the shipping plugin I'm using, it doesn't seem to do like it doesn't, even though it changes the total order amount. Um, so this is 68. Now, because that's been added, it will go ahead and let me check out. So it does include shipping and you can choose which one you've got here, um, both parcel posts, like that kind of thing. And that all seemed to work okay. Depending on exactly what you're using for your individual shipping items will depend if it works or not. But for me, it works fine. So if you are looking for a minimum order uh, product, this plugin seems to work quite well. I'm sure that Hannah will update this at some point. Uh, as of the time of doing this, um, if we go through to my dashboard, we'll just check what version of WooCommerce I have. Just so that if you're looking at your version, you might go, hey, you know, is this gonna work? Well, we'll find out. So if we go to my WooCommerce status here, we can see that this is WooCommerce version 8.3.1. It was WordPress version 6.4.1, and I had a 512 megabyte memory limit. So if that's got your kind of settings there, then this will work for you too. Hope that's helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.